People are going to want to know that. That adds interest to your story. So one thing you want to do when you get a news story, when you read that thing over, say to yourself, what's really interesting about this particular story? For more than 40 years, he brought the news to Fargo-Moorhead. And for the past 39 years, Marv Bossert has been a fixture in MSUM's Mass Communications Department, teaching what he knows best, broadcast writing. I found out that I couldn't be impatient with young people who weren't writing so well. That takes some time, too. Uh, writing is kind of like playing the piano or whatever. It's, it's, it's doing it and learning to do this kind of thing. The more, in other words, the more you write, the, the better you get, is the way I like to say it. That would be your graphic, following your lead. Every morning for nearly four decades, Marv shared his knowledge of the news desk, building a bond with his students. I get up really early, 6 o'clock in the morning, to get ready, come over to Moorhead State. And I uh, walked in that first morning, on Tuesday morning, after Monday night football, and I had my first class at my first 8 o'clock I ever had. And I said, class, I want you to know that I look this way this morning because of Monday night football. That's the only time I ever had to finish that thing, because I walked in every Tuesday and said the same thing. I'd say, class, I look this way, and the whole class would say, because of Monday Night Football. I didn't even have to repeat it. Say, it was kind of fun. Stuff of news or reporting. So that's what you he left the WDAY anchor desk in 2000, but his love for teaching kept him in the classroom. When I talked to the people here at Minnesota State University Moorhead, they were very accommodating to me. They always have been. I've been blessed that way too because I worked with a, with a mass comm department that's absolutely terrific. That department threw Marv a retirement party two years ago, but that didn't stop him from teaching either. That is, until his final day. <laughs> In fact, I, I think maybe I retired for a good reason. I was walking down the hall one day and somebody passed me and they said, are you still here? After a lifetime of teaching, Marv said his last goodbye. And then I come to this teaching thing which I loved to his final group of students. I've done, I've done that for 37 years, and now, now it's all over. And it makes me pretty darn emotional, and I can't help it, because it's, it's a long time to do something like that. I, uh, I worked really hard, two jobs that I, but I was blessed to the heavens, because I had not one, but two jobs that I absolutely loved. That doesn't happen to very many people. While one era comes to an end, memories of Marv's classroom remain. thought he was a great teacher because he was bringing that kind of practical experience that he had and um, current events of the day. I don't think it's the last we've seen of Marv in, at MSU. I mean, I, I just, I think he'll be, he's so valuable in so many capacities that you know, he'll be back in different classrooms. Health issues, for one thing. And, uh, but I, I also have reached the point where I, I need more, more time, even though I'm retired, sort of. <laughs> but uh, now, if I, if when I uh, work the, the first semester, it always starts in August. And I have a lake place, and I'd like to be down there in August. And so things have changed a little bit for me, where I've, I, I've said to myself, you know, I've done the best I can do. Uh, so I guess it's time I throw in the towel and let somebody else take this over, and they'll do just fine. A final sign-off for a broadcasting legend. But, but we got out there, and honest to God, it was, I was scared.